today, we will see some examples related to division of fractions. If we want to make 14 equal parts of 7 by 10, then what will be the measurement of each part? Come, let's solve it. We have to make 14 parts of 7 by 10 and find the measurement of each part. So let's first make 10 equal parts of a strip and shade 7 of these. The shaded part denotes the fraction 7 by 10. Now can you guess how we will make 14 parts of the shaded part? Go on, give it some thought. If we make 2 equal parts of each part, then we will have 14 equal parts of the 7 by 10 shaded region. As you can see, here one part is one of all 20 parts of the complete strip, which we denote by the fraction 1 by 20. Therefore, the measurement of each part will be 1 by 20. Let's solve this mathematically. To find the measurement of each part, we have to divide 7 by 10 by 14. To solve this, we will keep the first fraction exactly the same and multiply it by the second number's reciprocal. Here, the reciprocal of 14 is 1 by 14. Therefore, if we want to make 14 parts of 7 by 10 parts, then the measurement of each will be 1 by 20. Next example. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha and has asked her to take three-fourths of one tablet every day. Find out how many days will Nisha take to finish all the pills. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha. Suppose each of these circles is a pill. Nisha consumes three-fourth parts of the pill every day. On the first day, consuming three by four parts of the tablet will save her one-fourth part. Similarly, on the second and third day, after taking three-fourth of the tablet, one-fourth part will be saved. If we add the remaining parts, we will get three-fourth of the pill, which Nisha can take on the fourth day. In this way, Nisha will be able to take three pills in four days. Thus, we can say that Nisha will be able to take three into four pills in four into four days, that is, twelve pills in sixteen days. So the answer to the given question is sixteen days. Let's solve this mathematically. Nisha takes three-fourth pill in a day. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha. To know how many days Nisha will take to finish all the pills, we have to divide 12 by three-fourth. To solve the division, we will keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Here, the reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3. We can solve this in the same way as 12 divided by 3 fourth is equal to 16. So Nisha will be able to finish all the pills in 16 days. Next example. A plumber brings a pipe of 7.5 meters in length. He needs pipe parts measuring 1.5 meters in length. Find out how many parts of 1.5 meter length will he get from a pipe of 7.5 meters. This example shows that the total length of the pipe bought by the plumber is 7.5 meters. If he wants to make parts measuring 1.5 meters from this pipe, then he will get 7.5 divided by 1.5 parts. Let us find the result of this. Can you tell us how this division can be solved? Think about it. Let me tell you, if the division has mixed fractions, we have to first convert it into improper fractions. Here, the improper fractions of 7.5 will be 15 by 2 and the improper fractions of 1.5 will be 3 by 2. That is, 7.5 divided by 1.5 is equal to 15 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. To solve this, we will keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Here, the reciprocal of 3 by 2 is 2 by 3. To solve this, we will first multiply the numerator and the resultant numerator will be 30. 
We will then multiply the denominators and the resultant denominator will be 6. Then we simplify it. Here, if we divide the numerator by the denominator, we get the simplest form as 5 by 1, that is 5. So we can say that the plumber will get 5 parts in total. Today, we have seen some examples related to division of fractions. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions and some common mistakes related to division of fractions. Thank you.